Good morning and welcome to Sleepy Limits video. Um, today we're going to be fishing for bass. Um, trying a new mark. Driven for a few hours to get here. Don't know how I'm going to get down to it, but when I've been looking on the Navionics and satellite imagery, etc., um, <clears throat> it looks brilliant. Uh, small beach. Uh, looks quite deep, but it looks like it's got massive boulders in it, so I don't know if it's going to be fishable. But we're going to give it a try. I'm going to uh, get my waders on and try and get down to the coastline. Right, let's get to it. Got a wee kimono, kimomo on. Oh, the ground is super heavy. Boulders everywhere. To hook something is going to be a miracle to land it. Fishing with 20 pound braid and a 25 pound leader. So one touch on any of these barnacles and that'll be it from a fish point of view. It's too rough for this lure. It's not diving. <laughs> it's a subsurface lure and even the seagulls are trying to pick up, pick it up. Well, I've got to do it. I've got to put a top water on. I've only got a one, two, five. That's the biggest I've got. <clears throat> so let's see how it goes. Should be better than. Better with the weed. I need a jacket. I don't know what the ground's like. If it's this bouldery all the way around, then uh, this soft plastic might not be the best idea. Just like standing on this rock, really. Just getting weeded. Let's try a different angle. Let's give it a go here. It looks like there might be less weed. Less boulders too, but the wind's coming across more. <laughs> the wind's so strong that it's not it. The boo in my line isn't allowing this, well it's a 10 gram head and uh, I think the body weighs about 10 grams as well, so it's just not sinking. I want to use a heavier lure, but it's so bouldery and shallow that uh, I'll probably just lose it straight away. Let's give it a try. 20 gram fish minnow with a search head in, I'm not sure what colour, Wagasaki maybe. Got a fish. Oh, it's a pollock? No way. A pollock in this. <laughs> Does that mean I haven't blanked? <laughs> it's not the target species, is it? Alright, let's try a 20 gram black eel. Weed's getting worse. I think I need to find a headland to uh, get away from it all. Because it's just kind of, well, it's in the beach. It's getting washed into this bay. A few more casts, see what we can do. We have caught a pollock, so there's fish in here. I just need to be able to fish effectively.
Oh, well, little duck. Why the hell are you in here? What are you coming over for? <laughs> I don't even know what type of bird it is. Let's come and say hello. It's too shallow here for you, mate. If you tell us where the bass are, though, that would be great. What's up with you, man? Just come and say hello. I've got no food for you. <laughs> Literally, at my feet. Oh, there he goes. Look at him go. GoPros. Oh yes! <laughs> Away from those rocks, mister. Oh. Right in the shore now. Yeah. So I'll put on a hound glide, I'm a hound glide in a non-natural colour. <laughs> um, could fish it slower? I'm going to stop talking and get this fish on shore. Oh! That was a nice fish. Well, it's a good sign. There's some here. I can't believe that. Did all the hard work. We're getting it away from the boulders and... I've just moved across the bay onto this wee bit of rock. The angle doesn't work with the wind or the camera, but it's going to lift us above the weed. I'm going to be able to cover more water because where I was, I was only able to cover a tiny little, little bit. <laughs> yes! Very little weed on there. Get in! <laughs> the main problem of being on this rock is that fish took really close in. We're probably standing where it, in terms of, yeah, I'm probably standing where it took my lure. Right on the edge of the weed. Still, we're fishing. I've got a lot more water to cast at. Swell's picking up. So's the wind. <gasps> oh, there's fish. Bait fish jumping out the water. They're getting chased by something. Come on. Take it. Oh, this place is full of energy. I'm loving it. Good waves, good wind. Well, not good wind. Loads of bait. Had two hookups, one bass. Still smarting about that. And uh, yeah. 
one pollock. Gonna try this little soft plastic, which is a fish arrow J shard in blue. It's got a seven gram, sorry, a five gram, six oak hook on it. The tail gives it enough bite in the water to manage, even though it's very light. Actually cast reasonably well into the wind. Let's cast it into the boulder field. I'm gonna try the Komomo too and I think it's a 90 or 110. This is what I started with when I was over there, but it was too rough. It's not quite as rough over here, so maybe. Just maybe. I think uh, I'm gonna stick the home glide back on. It's gonna kind of wee bit rough for the smaller lures, although not so. The home glide sits deeper and it's, it runs really stable. And more importantly, it's what I got me bite on even if it is in a slightly unnatural colour. Right, that's the first bass I've had on it. Had a sea trout before. <laughs> well, I've had a few casts around with this Hound Glide again. Covering a lot more water, it's great. I think what I might do, or I'm going to do soon, is stick a metal on and cover some water further out. A bit more range. Those bait fish that were in the bay have disappeared. They were there for like seconds, unfortunately. Yeah, let's stick that metal on and then see how quickly I can lose it. <laughs> Actually, First of all, I'm going to try a Sandy Andy in an absolutely shocking colour. Bought that in Norway. Because <laughs> the reason why I chose that colour is because it was the fewest of those on the shelf. So I thought it was a popular colour there. It's right at the casting limit of this rod though. So just Bounce it out gently. Gonna need a new rock soon. I've taken the Sandy Andy off and put back on the 20 gram Mad Eel. Not mad eel, black eel. We're well, pretty much at high water now. I can't believe there's not feeding bass around here. Apart from the one that I hooked and lost. Normally there's a uh, set of waves, biggest set of waves at high tide. Seems about right. Well, nothing on soft plastics. Been chucking drum for half an hour and obviously nothing. So I'm trying a... I am a Navarone 110 in uh, chartreuse colour. I'm throwing the uh, patch 125, couldn't resist it. 
just love fishing with top water too much. <laughs> so I'm kind of going across the bay and across the waves because that's the direction that the wind's blowing. Can't see it most of the time, but doesn't mean the fish can't. Hit a boulder there. I thought, yes! Yeah. No. That's why I use a BG mag sealed from Daiwa. Absolutely bomb proof reels. I've had this for years and I never wash it, do anything with it. It just, just seems to keep working. So I've had a wee five minutes break. Hands are pretty cold with the wet. Uh, I thought I'd give you a look at the ham glide. It's in a mackerel colour, but with uh, bright yellow on the top or chartreuse. This is what hooked my only fish today. So I'm going to go and give this a good chuck. Tide, low tide was about half an hour ago, so hopefully low slack water's been and gone, almost. And uh, maybe some fish might have moved in. This bay is definitely not an area where they hold, obviously, but um, yeah. Maybe slack water, uh, sorry, the ebb and tide might bring us a bit more fortune. Biggest weed fish of the day. I moved here because I thought it was going to be dry. <laughs> Come on, it feels so fishy. There must be something here today. Oh, it's up bloody rock again. What a crazy eel. Seems the sea's getting bigger. Well, still nothing. Been another half hour since I last uh, spoke to the camera. But on the plus side, I think, oh, right down my neck. The gannets are cruising around here, very close to the shoreline here, and they're doing laps. And they're actually starting to dive not that far off the shoreline, so. A little bit of bird activity is always a good thing, even if it is out of range. Whoa, look at that. Can get a metal that distance. It went in at an acute angle, a tight angle as well, so it's not going deep. <laughs> all right, all right, see. Oh, I'm going to try a metal now. This fish hit no cast, 40 grams. Getting some distance, but it's just getting blown by the wind. Oh, bait fish! Look at them all, they're going nuts. Oh, something just hit my lure. Probably seaweed. <laughs> Swift. It's almost feels like it's been a winter session. Uh, so <clears throat> I fished for uh, two hours down, 
um, from high tide and the wind really started picking up, which is why I'm doing the outro here. Um, I only caught two more pollock, no more bass. Uh, one of the pollock was all right at about two pounds. Both took the hound glide again. Um, but yeah, no more bass. Kicking myself for losing that one. She just got on the beach. One and numpty. But uh, anyway, I really enjoyed the session. I think that uh, Mark's got potential. And I'll definitely be back, but in more favourable conditions. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like I enjoyed making it. And if you did, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, until the next one, tight lines. Taking the sandy andy off and put back on the... Oh, there's my microphone. This is what happens when you try to mix filming and fishing. I'm sure everybody with a YouTube channel knows exactly how I feel right now. GoPro, stop recording.